Hello everyone, I'm Fiona from Human Capital Development of PwC Indonesia. It is my pleasure to welcome you to today's Leaders Insight with our special guest, Raju Munusami. Hi Raju. Hi Fiona. Please share a little bit about yourself, your role and how long have you been with the firm? Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Raju Munusami, partner and leader of deal strategy and operations of PwC Indonesia. Uh, I had the privilege of being part of the PwC family for the past five years. It is a pleasure to have you today to talk about empowerment leadership, igniting passion and purpose. What does empowerment mean to you? Uh, empowerment embodies a twofold essence to me. It's about not only preparing oneself for advancement, uh, but also nurturing the next generation of leaders. Uh, as John D. Rockefeller famously advised, uh, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Uh, empowerment is a gateway to unlocking time for continuous learning, uh, thereby positioning oneself for new opportunities on the horizon. Uh, some may perceive empowerment as self-serving, but in reality, it's a symbiotic relationship. Uh, by enabling others to manage themselves and excel in their roles, uh, you are not only fostering a culture of autonomy and accountability, but also grooming future leaders who can step into your shoes when the time comes. So, empowerment is not only preparing oneself, but also nurturing the next generation of leaders. Very interesting. How do you actually balance providing support and guidance with allowing team members to make their own decision? Uh, empowering others isn't about following a rigid formula. It begins with trust and confidence in the individual you seek to empower. Uh, essentially, it's about recognizing their track record. Uh, next comes equipping them with the necessary tools and resources to excel uh, alongside ongoing monitoring and coaching. Uh, remember, uh, greatness doesn't happen overnight, uh, so don't anticipate stellar results from the get-go. Uh, and most importantly, don't give up on empowerment when and things don't unfold as expected. Uh, it's all about the journey towards growth and development. I couldn't agree more that empowering starts with trust and confidence in our people. Based on your experience, what are the benefits of empowering others as a leader? For individuals, empowerment offers a pathway to growth opportunities. Uh, empowered individuals have the chance to accelerate their career development and personal fulfillment. Uh, meanwhile, for organizations, empowerment ensures performance sustainability. Uh, companies that foster empowerment cultivate a robust internal talent pipeline, uh, enabling them to tap into a diverse skill sets. Uh, moreover, empowerment facilitates uh, early stage uh, problem solving, uh, allowing organizations to address challenges uh, proactively and innovate more effectively. Glad to know both people and the organization equally reap the benefits from a culture of empowerment. Lastly, what advice would you give to aspiring leaders to instill the empowerment culture? The empowerment culture cascades through the hierarchy and shouldn't stop at the leader's level. Uh, only through this cascade can the true benefits of empowerment be realized. Uh, aspiring leaders uh, should prioritize trust, communication, and accountability. Uh, building an empowerment culture takes time, but the rewards justify the effort. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Raju. You're welcome, Leo. So, there we have it, everyone. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode of The Leaders Insight. For more information on career opportunities, you can visit pwc.com slash id slash career.